the intro of this movie had the director say his inspiration was 80s movies like American Werewolf in London. That's a really, really high bar. Does it succeed? Chase Liaki here with the Blue Food Turner Green. Shaky Shivers, what's this about? Pretty simple premise. We're following two post-high school girls who are living in Washington, and they realize, oh, snap, one of them's going to turn into a werewolf, so we need to figure out how she's going to survive the night, how her friend's going to survive the night, and what is Bigfoot, what is the old man part of the ice cream shop, werewolves, cults, witches, and other shenanigans ensues. So, did I like this film? I thought it was an okay film. This is supposed to be a horror-esque comedy. Unfortunately, the horror elements just weren't there. The comedy elements were there on some scenes. But overall, it just felt like a fun student film. And even though that might sound horrible, I think the low-budgetness of it does make it a little bit better because it makes some, you know, think outside the box and the practical effects and what they can actually do on camera. It's not like this had a you know, $10 million budget and they can kind of throw money away. No, they know for a fact where they had to put the money. I think they did put the money in the right spot with some of the blood, some of the prosthetic makeup and scouting the locations. When I say that, you could tell this is a film during COVID is a very small cast out in the open. There was no really indoor shelters. I mean, there was one area of a shed but everything else was outdoor, and I think it used that to the advantage of, you know what, we don't really need to use a bunch of locations. We're going to stick to this one spot, and we're going to do what we can because it is filmed during COVID, and they're going to just do what they can on screen. The chemistry between the two girls are there, and I think that it's very believable that these two girls have been through thick and thin and were high school buddies. And I think the story itself is just a simple, fun premise of, These girls having fun and just having shenanigans. The problem is this wants to be a horror-esque werewolf zombie Bigfoot movie. And it kind of fails on all fronts. I am a sucker and I will have a soft spot for werewolf movies. I mean, werewolf movies are like my favorite genre. Like I said, American Werewolf in London, that, that scene, amazing. That Eli Roth werewolf show that really didn't last long, Hemlock Grove fantastic, fantastic horror elements to that as well as the werewolf transformation. What makes a werewolf transformation or what makes a werewolf movie is a werewolf transformation. Unfortunately, this kind of doesn't succeed on that front because like I said, the budget was so small. It more succeeds on a zombie-esque element, which how they do the zombies in this movie are actually fun and different from what you've seen in other films. When you have a werewolf film though, You have to have a transformation scene. You have to see from human to full transformation. You don't get that in this movie. I'm just going to forewarn you and that might bother you. It kind of bothered me a lot because like I said, I need good werewolf transformation movies in my life and there's not a lot of them. And for a movie like this, I understand what it's going for, but it just felt a little bit empty when I left the movie theater. Like You could tell it was supposed to be like, the late 80s, early 90s, just silly John Hughes type of feel to it. And I did get that with the chemistry, like I said, the two main characters. But other than them two kind of holding this movie together, the overall premise, I just felt like it was underwhelming, underbearing, and just a little bit of a disappointment. So overall, Shaky Shivers is a fun girl man's movie about these two girls trying to get out of a situation. However, a lot of stuff isn't explained about how they got this binder and how this binder can be picture perfect with casting these spells. You know, the main character, which are the main guy that owns the ice cream shop and the age difference. That was a little bit awkward, as I'm going to say right there for his love of his life. But like I said, underwhelming. And if you're going to do a werewolf movie, you got to do a transformation scene. And if you don't, it's kind of failing. <laughs> So Shaky Shivers will receive a 2.5 out of 5 blue food tongs because at 50%. So see the Critics News Force gave this one. So you have Critics, a 67% with 9 of them. No crit, no audience score at this moment in time. When looking at the Critics, we have like a 7 out of 10, a 7.5, and, 
Then we do have a 1 out of 4, a B minus, a 4 out of 5, a 2.9 out of 10. That's pretty bad. Then a 50% as well. Like I said, there is some fun to have with this movie. But when you have a monster movie and there's a werewolf on the movie poster, I expect a werewolf. And I felt deceived. 6750, Chase Scott with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Topi, you Blue Tone. Thank you. What's a great day? Now you can watch the state tomorrow. We can watch a year from now. I love every single freaking one of you. What's your genre? Or would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? 100%.